I guess this is the start to the first vlog. Um, so many people have asked me to vlog and I don't really know why because I don't do anything that exciting and my life is very boring. But I have gotten a few requests to film like wedding planning, that kind of stuff. So I figured I guess I'll start vlogging. <laughs> Um, and I'm actually preparing for a trip. Today is Friday and I'm actually leaving Sunday to go to New York um, for a week and I'm actually getting like my first fitting for my wedding dress and all that stuff. So I thought now is a good time, as good a time as ever to start vlogging, I guess. And um, I look crazy, I ripped off my eyelashes already. Um, because I was pre-filming. Um, so I guess to get the vlog started, I figured it would be fun maybe for you guys to see what I pack in my travel makeup bag because I'm currently sitting in my very, very cluttered, messy office space and I'm in the process of packing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I take along with me when I travel. So please excuse the mess over here in the background. Boxes are stacked everywhere. This is like our storage room that I film in. So um, that's why it looks so crazy back there. Um, but so right now I have my travel makeup bag set out here and then all my brushes here. So I figured I would just show you guys quickly what I pack. I apologize, my desk is a disaster. I just finished filming. So the first thing I'm gonna pack is primer and this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is one of my favorite primers. It's so good. I highly recommend and I use it so much and it's barely had a dent in it. So I'm just going to put that in this kind of like plasticky pocket here. Um, by the way, this travel makeup case is just from Target. It has a brush holder and pockets here, pocket here, and then of course a pocket right here. So I like to pick, pack my makeup bag in the order that I would apply my makeup. So next I'm going to pack foundation and these are the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. These are my new favorite foundation from the drugstore or from Ulta. They're pretty inexpensive. I think it's like eight bucks. So I'm bringing two shades, a really fair shade and then a really dark shade because I can always mix these um, as my self tanner fades. Now I'm gonna bring two concealers, again, a super light shade and then a little bit of a darker shade. This is Tarte Shape Tape and then the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which is really full coverage and I love as well. So now I'm packing powder. This is just my Laura Mercier Translucent. I use this in like every video. This is my favorite go-to powder and it really makes my makeup last all day long. So that will just go in there. And before I forget, I'm going to pack a sponge. This is just a real technique sponge in here, a dry one. Um, and I have this little travel case that keeps it nice and clean and sanitary. So I'm just gonna slip that in there as well. So I typically will not bring a separate bronzer. I just bring a contour palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Um, it does have a kind of bronzy shade in here and then a cooler shade for a contour and then it has like a banana setting powder. So I prefer to bring palettes when I travel just because it's everything in one and um, it kind of minimizes the amount of stuff you have. So I actually keep palettes and stuff in this pocket here. So that will go down there. And then for highlight, I have the Pixie by Petra. This is the Glowy Glossomer Duo in Subtle, Subtle Sunrise. Let me just swatch this for you guys really quick. Like. That is the most insane highlight ever from freaking Target, like insane. This one again has a lighter shade for when I'm fair and a darker shade for when I'm freshly self tanned. So for blush, I'm taking this Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour 03. This blush is super versatile. It comes off a very neutral mauve pink. Um, it does have some gold reflex in there, but it's not too shimmery or anything, and I love this color. It literally goes with any makeup look. So we'll put that in there. And then last but not least, for our face products, I have this really mini um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray that I actually just continue to save the bottle and refill with my larger size, which is over there. Um, so this thing's super tiny and travel friendly, so just stick that in there. All right, so we already have our contour palette in here, but uh, before we move on to other palettes, I wanna go in with my eyebrow products. 
So this is inc incredibly extra, but I bring three products. Um, I bring my Anastasia Dip Brow, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. Um, so we'll put that in there. I bring my brow contour from Benefit because it has multiple colors and a highlight shade for cleaning up and all that stuff. And then I never leave the house without my gimme brow. This is like a brow gel, but it has fibers in it to make your brows look a little bit thicker. Okay, so moving on to eye products, um, I do travel typically with just like one neutral eye palette because you can pair a bold lip or you can do a nude on nude look. This is the Morphe 9A Always Golden Palette. Um, it has literally everything I need, all my transitions, a black shade, and then a gold shade. The only thing, of course, it doesn't have is a brow bone highlight, but that's why I brought a face highlighter. So you really have everything you need in here and a super big mirror which is perfect for doing your makeup. So I just travel with one palette typically. Uh, for eyeliner, I always bring my Makeup Forever liquid liner. This dries super matte, lasts a long time. It's my go-to. And then for eye pencils, I will bring two. I will bring a black one and then a brown one for more natural look. These are just the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. These are like all I use. They're such good eyeliners. They're super creamy and very pigmented. So mascaras, again, super extra. I bring two. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I will typically use this on my top lashes and then Bad Gal Bang. I will use this if I'm not wearing falsies because it really lengthens or I will use this on my bottom lashes. That's pretty much it for all of the eye products. Um, I just bring two lip liners now. I bring like a darker nude and then a lighter nude. Um, I'm not going to do any bold lips this time around because I know I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just going to be in meetings and hanging out with family, that kind of stuff. And so I don't really need anything too crazy. I did bring one statement lip, um, this kind of like reddish brown brick color, which is really pretty for fall, but that's probably as crazy as I'll go with my lip color. Um, so I have another darker nude, kind of a really pretty fall color. And then of course I'm bringing MAC Whirl. This is just like a classic bullet lipstick if I'm not feeling a liquid. This is a little bit more casual, laid back, just an easy application. And then for my two nudes, I'm bringing a cool tone nude. Actually, these are both pretty cool toned. I prefer cool tone nudes rather than a warm tone. Um, this is Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl, my absolute, absolute favorite nude shade, for sure. And then this is Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy, which is a little bit more pink than nude. So in this pocket right here, I typically, I typically keep like lashes, tape, lash glue, tweezers, that kind of stuff. So we have a pair of regular tweezers for eyebrows. And then I have my lash tweezers. These are from Tarte. I'm still trying to get used to using these. I'm used to just regular tweezers, but they are really, really good. I do recommend them. And then I do bring a House of Lashes adhesive. That's my favorite glue. It lasts the longest. I always bring the clear one. Um, so for lashes, I'm bringing two pair. I'm bringing the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. These are really pretty. Um, just like a really full lash and then I'm going to bring my Lily Lashes in the style Rome. If I want to do like a wing liner, these are more cat eye and these are more rounded. And then I will also bring a MAC Prep and Prime if I want to wear a liquid lip. This is my favorite. If you have chapped lips, this is better than any lip balm for liquid lips. I apply this like while I'm doing my foundation, let it sit for like five minutes and then apply a lip liquid lipstick and it just looks so good. And then, of course, I'm not going anywhere without my Lano Lips Lip Balm. This is the tinted one in the shade Perfect Nude. It's so pretty. I love this. If I don't want to wear any lip color, or I can just layer this on top of the nude lip liner, and it's really natural looking. So, yeah, this is my travel makeup bag. And I need to clean this desk before I go anywhere. I was literally drinking a Dr. Pepper. Like, this is a disaster from filming. This is clean for me after filming. So again, please excuse the mess. Um, but I was gonna see, since I'm in my beauty room, in my office where I just keep all my makeup, um, if you guys are interested in seeing a beauty room tour or kind of like, no, I don't wanna do a beauty room tour because this room is disgusting and I hate it. Um, but if you wanna see a makeup collection, tour situation thing 
I don't know, makeup organization, that's what we'll call it, um, then let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to film that for you. So right now, I'm not gonna do anything exciting. I might make dinner, I don't know. My life, again, so boring. <laughs> um, so I will check in with you later. Hi guys! So I am officially in New York. Um, sorry I look like this, it's really late at night. Um, I landed earlier this afternoon and I've just been hanging out with my family and stuff. Um, I'm actually in my old room, it's so cute. <sighs> I miss the purple. I'm so happy to be with my parents, I miss them so much. Um, and this week is very, very busy for me. I have a lot going on but friday is the day i go do my dress fitting like i told you guys about so i will definitely bring you along my mom is gonna go try on dresses and i'm gonna try on my dress then so i will definitely bring you guys along um so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update that i'm alive i made it um i didn't vlog on the flight because i left out like 6 a.m and i literally slept the entire time for the first time ever i never sleep on planes this was literally the first time i have Ever slept on a plane so um, I didn't pull out my camera once um, so yeah I will keep you guys updated with everything and I'll see you Friday mom are you excited I am very excited are you going to find your dress I don't know but I will try <laughs> most importantly you're gonna see Do you like it? Yeah, I do, and it actually doesn't feel that heavy. Yeah. You look pretty. What do you think? I love it. I love that one. Well, I picked that one, so. Yeah, you did. You did. Yes. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love the keyhole back. It's so pretty, right? You don't think this is too much? No. No? No. I love it. <laughs> It's very comfortable. It has that like almost like vintagey feel that you liked. Yeah. The beading is really flattering. Yeah. Wait, true. turn towards me again. Wow. Yeah. It's true. That one's so pretty. So this is so this is what blue would look like on me. I like blue on you. I think it's flattering. Yeah. 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 You're on the fancy pedestal. What do you think? It's beautiful. Oh my god, it's so sparkly too. It is. It's beautiful. Wait, turn towards me. Oh, my oh wow. Yeah. I think I would have her take the bottom layer out. Yeah, I get where the bottom is too much. Yeah, it's just too. But the top just. I mean. I think this is more it's so sparkly. Have, not the mother. <laughs> Tell the people something. Tell the people. We're having a great girls day. We are having a great girls day. We have coffee. We found a dress. We did, we found a dress. We loved the wedding dress. And we shopped a little more. Yes, we did. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>